I was born in a little town in Flora, Illinois. Uh, this was 1942, so the war was getting going. Uh, my father was in the oil field business, so therefore they moved every three months somewhere and moved all throughout the Midwest and then back to Texas. I was involved in high school in ROTC, so that created you know, an, an interest. I enjoyed, I enjoyed the ROTC, I had good success there, had a few victories, uh, you're, and so I had an interest in Texas A&M. Uh, I entered with a class of 64 in the fall of 60. I would graduated from high school in 60. Uh, I, I had a wonderful year, enjoyed being on the fish drill team, uh, and had very few great points. Dr. J. Malin Sutherland, class of 1965, graduated from Texas A&M with a degree in management. He was a member of Company F2, G3, A3, and was a member of the fish drill team. After active duty in the United States Army, he returned to Texas A&M in 1968 as a counselor in the Commandant's office. After completion of a PhD in 1980 in Education Administration, he became an assistant to the President of Texas A&M and later the Associate Vice President for Student Services. In 1986, he served as the Interim Commandant for the Corps of Cadets. Dr. Sutherland was named Vice President of Student Affairs in 1993 and served until his retirement in 2003. He is a Vice President Emeritus and has served on numerous boards including Chairman of the Board of the Greater Texas Foundation and the Texas Guaranteed Student Loan Corporation. Texas A&M University and the Texas A&M Foundation named him the namesake of the Sutherland Aggie Leader Scholarships. Dr. Sutherland was named an honorary member of the Ross Volunteer Company by the class of 1988 and is a past Association of Former Students class agent for the class of 1965. The interactions with students is honestly the only thing that I truly miss you know, in retirement. The students came up with the idea after 9-11 uh, within like a week before the next home game to change to red, white, and blue t-shirts throughout the entire stadium. Uh, they actually came to visit with me and said, well, this, if this doesn't work, we're going to have lost some money. Will you back us up? Well, they didn't lose money. They, they made a couple hundred thousand dollars and we sent them you know, to the firemen in New York City. And it's a, a big, easy statement to see. But individual successes are there everywhere. Persistence and hard work are very significant items uh, that if you can apply those, you can probably overcome some other shortcomings. Ladies and gentlemen, inducted into the Corps of Cadets Hall of Honor, Dr. J. Malin Sutherland, class of 1965.